my first sort of brush with bridges and bridge builders came maybe my 10th grade year. Uh, there was something called Peace Jam uh, that was it's held, it was held at Rhodes College annually, uh, and it was an opportunity for students to meet Nobel Peace Prize laureates. And uh, I didn't understand the gravity of that at that point in my life. I had a teacher that I was close with at that point, uh, Scott Moore. He was the Bridge Builders uh, advisor on campus at well at school, mm -hmm. and so my connection to him and joining his class and having the world open up to me through history and his class made me interested in things that he was interested in, and so I wanted to be even more so a part of Bridge Builders. And I think he sought me out as someone who you know I spoke up in his classes, and I and he knew that I might have had a different perspective to offer to the program. But at that point, were you thinking career-wise, what did you want to do? I wanted to rap, skateboard. Probably those two, mostly. I hope you still do that. <laughs> well, but you at went that to, point in my life. So you went to University of Mississippi. Yeah, I went to the University of Mississippi. What were you? What was your? Did you have a major when you started? Uh, my major when I started was actually uh, business marketing communications, because when I toured the school, uh, I didn't know if I wanted to. Uh, again, I'll tell you. At this point, I still want to rap. You know, I still want to mm -hmm. do music. But Were you I thought, thinking that you wanted to be a rapper professionally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought that if I could get into writing about music, then I'd always be around musicians. And then if I ever wanted to make music, then I already have a network, mm -hmm. and and I could fast track that. Uh, and I was making mixtapes in high school. Me and my best friend were we were rapping, 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 rapping all the time. Did you have a name? It was JB and Trey Days, okay. and Trey is still one of my best friends. Truth be told, the whole time we're doing this, we're getting high and doing all that kind of stuff. Like, we're, we're knuckleheads, you know what I mean? Like, we were drinking, all that sort of stuff. What I mean, age was this now? 17, 16, so 17, 19. Yeah, I mean, when you so, started really, did you perform out ever? Here and there, here and there. Like where? Uh, I think the biggest thing we did was that, that small room at Minglewood. Were you writing raps? Your Absolutely, own? writing raps, picking the samples, and uh, our main producer was, at the time, they called him CJ from Slow Down Entertainment. But now we all know him as C Major. He's with Unapologetic. So uh, he, he, was, he, was our, he, he was on the drum line with me in high school. All of us went to White Station. Well, what do you remember? Do you remember one of your most popular songs? <laughs> were these X-rated back then? Oh, yeah, they were definitely X-rated, man. It was all about, all about girls. It was all about getting high, and you know, we thought we were Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg or somebody, man. We was all that was really the main two things. Uh, and eating, eating at Ching's because we were high, we needed to eat something. <laughs> so eating at Ching's is like Ching's was like our Arnold's from 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 uh, mm -hmm. Happy Days. I mean, the place but we all would hang up. Great hang hot out. wings. I mean, I remember they're just. Delicious. They're not only for high teenagers, but that was oh, what no. that was what we like to do, and you know, going and and school pride, going to basketball games, going to football games. It, it was veiled. It wasn't like we were, you know, yeah, 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 go Spartans on the songs. But it was. There were a lot of dog whistles to the things that our friends, our friend group, liked to do, and also the things that the other kids at the other schools, you know, were doing because they thought we were cool and we were doing it. You know what I mean? So it was. It was sort of a, a East Memphis kind of insider thing, uh, you know, from kids of Germantown and Southwind and MUS and all that. Uh, mostly black kids, but you know, we were we were talking about being Memphians, probably first generation in some of these neighborhoods that you know, twenty years prior wouldn't have had black kids in them. And going to parties, with, you know, pools and that sort of thing, and the stuff we did when our parents were away, and we thought we were being sneaky, but we were putting all that stuff in the music, and that sort of Da Vinci Code of this hidden language of being a black middle class teenager in Memphis at that time really got us kind of popular around town. Do you remember one of your early raps? Yeah, that was the question you asked, and I tried I know, to. I, I tried know, to she talk tried all the <laughs> Because I would, love, I would love for you to do a little bit of oh it Oh, my gosh. Maybe, Michael. Maybe even one line, but you don't have to. But that, What was the name? Is it an embarrassing name? It's called Where They At. Where They At was a big single for us. Um, but the, the, What's a little bit of it? The subtext was Where The Hoes At. That was, the, that was what we were talking about. 
Um, and let's see. You don't have to be, don't have to be unless, <laughs> so there is, there, unless there isn't a clean line, but the, uh, I so think we're okay. Light skin, light skin, can I get a closer look? You're like Bill Nye the Science. I'm like Bill Nye the Science guy, and your body's an open book. <laughs> okay. The way that thing behind you shook, I think I just might have to book you for a private show and see how much you really know. Hooked. Like, I'm hooked. I used to know a girl named Kendall, and once I got a nook, she started telling stories about your boy. I took off like a crook. Shardy was the point of Bizzle Baby beating around the bush. I'm trying to beat around your bush and take this bit of Bubba Kush. That's great. That's, it's, this... it's lewd. <laughs>